Okay, in this uh, video lecture, we are going to discuss the concept of the elasticity of substitution. Uh, first of all, we would like to understand it. Why do we use it and what is its economic sense? Uh, as we know that in the ISO cost, ISO quant analysis, uh, we assume that price of factor inputs remains constant. That is, wage rate and interest rate remains constant. Now, the question arises, if there is change in price of either of these factor inputs, either capital or labor, what will happen to the demand for labor and capital? So if there is variation in one uh, in the prices of the one of the factor input that is in wages or interest rate, the K by L ratio may also changes. So elasticity of substitution measures the change in K by L ratio. The change in K by L ratio means the use of capital relative to labor and the production process. The change in the capital relative to labor in the production process when prices of either labor or capital or both changes. So the percentage change in K by L ratio is simply divided by the percentage change in the input price ratio. You get the elasticity of substitution. Now the percentage change in K by L ratio is uh, calculated as difference in the K by L ratio, that is the current K by L, the previous K by L, divided by the previous K by L. This is the percentage change in K by L ratio. Similarly, the computation of the percentage change in input prices is obtained by the current uh, input price ratio minus the previous input price ratio divided by the previous input price ratio. So this is the difference in K by L, this is the difference in W by I. This is the initial K by L, this is the initial W by I. So this is the percentage change in K by L, this is the percentage change in W by I. If we uh, relocate this, we get this, 1 over K time D K by L. This is the same thing like this, and this is the same thing like this. Okay, now what we are doing to do is, uh, this thing, this numerator, this is equal to uh, differential of log of k by L. Why? This is because of the log rule. Okay, similarly, this uh, denominator, this is equal to differential of the log of W by I. Because according to the log rule, we know that if we want to take the differential, total differential of log function, it is equal to write the function without log in the denominator that is we ignore ln and we write f of x only in the denominator we take the derivative of this in the numerator right and we multiply the differential of x the same thing appears here this is the f of x right this is the derivative of f of x the derivative of k by l with respect to k by l is equal to 1 so that's why this is f of x this is a prime of x and this is differential of x because of uh, instead of x we are having k by l k by l as a single variable which shows the average capital in the same way the derivative of w by i with respect to w by i is equal to 1 which is over here this is your f of x this is a prime of x and this this is the differential of x right so that's why this thing is replaced by a differential of log of k by l and the denominator is replaced by a differential of log of w by i okay and this is ultimately equal to this is the denominator this is equal to the technical rate of substitution because this is the input price ratio which is also equal to the ratio of the marginal physical productivity of the two factor inputs, that is of the capital and of the labor. So uh, we can replace W by I by the technical rate of substitution. But we took it in the absolute form. The reason is technical rate of substitution always appear with negative sign because it shows straight up between two factor inputs, right? But uh, as we know that we cannot take the log of negative uh, values. That's why we take it in absolute form. Okay, so this is all about the 
uh, elasticity of substitution and this is how to calculate elasticity of substitution. We will do this exercise. We will numerically calculate the elasticity substitution for Cobb Douglas production function and the CAS production function in the upcoming videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you have any question, you can comment in the uh, comment below in the comment section.